morning. Well, it's morning here, but I wanted to make a video because if you don't know, the churches of today, the Christian churches of today, which are supposed to be the light of the world, which are supposed to be the hand of God in the earth, is so corrupt that many things it practices and the principles it uh, once stood for are corrupt as well. When, when you go into church, Jesus, is, the name of Jesus is spoken and he's called Lord. But really and truly, if you try to enforce anything Jesus says in the church today, you are met with contempt and uh, disgust. People today are like the people in the Bible who, who are crying, Lord, Lord, or calling upon the name of Jesus. But they're actually working for the devil. Okay, so the name of Jesus it, that once uh, carried power in the earth is now become a social, a social name to associate yourself with a certain class of people. That's why many people of today are being called Christians, which in Christians were uh, first called Christians in uh, the book of Acts in Antioch. Uh, this name was associated with people who actually followed Christ. Now, I, I don't know if I could be wrong, but I, I assume the word follow Christ means obey every Christ, uh, Christ every leadership. So Christ is lead, you follow Christ's leadership, or you obey Christ's leadership as head, he's head over you, and then you are called a Christian. But in today's uh, life, you can associate yourself with a certain crowd and be called a Christian anyway, even though you work for the devil, okay, and you don't follow Christ. And in today's day, many people do not follow Christ. In churches now, the churches are filled with women witches. I haven't seen so much uh, warlocks or, or uh, wizards. But there have been some in the forms of uh, people who are members of cults who join uh, churches. Then there are uh, people who come out of cults who still seem to have some sort of behavior problem associating uh, that's, that's usually associated with their practices of the cult who come into the churches and struggle with these practices. So you have a lot of witches, warlocks, but you see the church is like a hospital because Jesus said he came not to call the righteous but the sinners to repentance, sinners to repentance. Now if you don't understand that he didn't come to save the whole but the sick. So the church is like a, a hospital where the, the, the patients seek a better health for themselves, for their souls, for their bodies. Okay for the minds but what is happening today is that churches are going after quantity but God is going after quality if I can say that again churches appear to be going after quantity uh, the amount the numbers and quality also churches are practicing deception when Jesus practiced practice uh, open truth churches now practice a lot of deception and it has to make up the numbers and that's why it needs members for, for to get members and to have members published then it can take uh, control over uh, uh, analysis of what the church is going through now Taking analysis is antichrist because if you look at the book of, uh, uh, I believe it's the book of Kings or Chronicles, uh, King David wanted to take a uh, number of the people and uh, it was from the devil, not from God, to number the people. Well, basically the devil is who caused him to number the people, but God allowed him to be tempted in that way. And so, the, the many people were destroyed by uh, uh, because he numbered the people. 
okay? But in church, they're trying again to number God's people, reaching God knows the number, and that appears to be good enough. You don't have to know the number. But as but in failing to, to, to have a number, the churches find, well, may find it hard to, have, to be able to analyze how much money they are going to bring in every single week. Banks usually need to know uh, how much money will be coming in every single week or the range. And then institutions, because many of these churches are themselves under mother churches or under cults to which they have to pay some form of tax even if the mother church they're under is of the devil okay and they have to pay the tax to the mother church and so you have a lot of wrong things and anti-christ Christ things going on in these churches and another thing is people are demanding and saying you should be a member of a church even though paul already spoke on this thing and said if the eye is not the ear is it still not of the body and Paul said yes it's of the body and the body is the body of Christ so therefore you don't have to be a member of any personal church you yourself in your positioning by Christ is the member because God the Father created the body now if God the Father created the body and it's God's plan, Christ's plan of faith, then the body of faith and your physical body was created by God. And if it is so, then you cannot tell God where or who we're to put people, who are we're to put people. You can't tell people they have to be a member of this or a member of that because it will be anti-Christ. If Christ have associated a person a job no one else should come to that person and tell that person he has to do the job of this or that that is like a tool telling the eye you have to behave like an ear and so we have a lot of that going on around and people are telling people they have to be a member of some church or denomination but the Bible also again warns against this when the Bible makes it clear in the book of Revelation, that these people that are members of this church, or this church, they had this good thing, they had evil people among them, they were this, they were this, they need to be cleaned up. And there were very little said to these denominational churches. Good said to these denominational churches. Very little said. And so, a, another scripture that says, he that covers with a covering that's not of my spirit is not of me. So God is saying, if you leave me, this is what it seems to me, if you leave me and go covering with something or some person, and that person is not of me, then you're not of me. You understand what I'm trying to say? So this is already in the Bible that God is warning people not to make people their spiritual covering and if they do it must be of God and obviously to know a person of God they agree with God they agree with God's Word but in today's day you're finding people being members of churches and cultures cults which are against God they're covering with a covering that is not of God's spirit but saying they're of God, and, and God is saying, no, they're not of me. So many Jehovah's Witness are not of God. They're covering with a covering that is not of uh, God's spirit. And there are some Jehovah's Witnesses may truly be of God. But what happens is many of these people subject themselves to the denomination. And so, like in the book of Revelation, God just tries to help them as best he can to make it as best he can. That's why I don't believe in denomination. It was never preached in the Bible. So they're preaching things that are not in the Bible, or they're preaching things today that Christ has spoken against, but they're saying they're of Christ. And so many anti-Christ churches have sprung up, which the Bible, in the Bible, Jesus forewarned, and says there will be much false uh, 
prophets, false preachers in these days. Even there be wolves, there are wolves among you all like now. Wolves. Okay. And so the Bible, Jesus uh, foretold, and there will be many that will be carried away uh, by these, uh, because of itching ears and, and, and uh, deception in the last days. And in the last days, we have two big predominant uh, religions in the world, or three, or four, that's Hinduism, Taoism, Christianity, Islamic beliefs, uh, uh, what is the other ones the Chinese believe in you now? Uh, Confucianism and uh, Buddhism. These are amongst the biggest uh, uh, religions on the planet. And the Bible is saying that these false religions will carry away many. Now, I'm not saying Christianity is a false religion, but that what I'm saying is to be a Christian, you need to just follow Christ. As well, in the Bible, Christians never used to call themselves Christians. In fact, it was the people of Antioch that called the, the followers of Christ Christians. There's a, part, there's a reason why they never called themselves Christians. The Bible says that uh, do not be a boaster of yourself. Do not boast in yourself, but let another boast in you. There is a commandment given by God. In today's world, people are making a lot of boasting themselves saying they're a child of god i am a child of god you know i, I am a child and they're making a lot of boasts in themselves and when you look at their behavior a lot of them mimicking the devil so why would god make it clear not to boast in yourself because the the, the, the worker is worthy of his meat is higher so you do the work, and then whatever glory God allows to pour down on you, whatever graces God allows to pour on you as a result of your work for him, you thank God for it. But there is no labeling of people by, by yourself. It, you can be labeled by people, or you can be accentuated by people. For instance, when they ask Jesus, um, are you the son of God? Jesus was said, thou sayest. So Jesus uh, corrected what the person was saying without having to boast in, in himself. And that's why throughout the Bible, whenever Jesus, people would uh, say, Jesus, you're this or you're that, Jesus would either say, uh, you said it, God said it, the Father revealed it. But he, you'd almost never see God, Jesus going around boasting himself because there's a commandment not to boast in yourself and jesus is the fulfillment of the law and the prophets and so these hard-headed people that call themselves christians today are so hard-headed that they are following every whim of change and there's scriptures that says do not follow people that are given to change once upon a time people called god god and god and next thing you know a lot of these followers calling people god not god but god because it sounds really religious and they mimic everything and every whim of change. The Bible talks a lot about churches and how churches are, are basically uh, the origin of churches are uh, where the uh, apostles gathered, share meat every, uh, every first day of the week basically and you know build up themselves in Christ, each other. But churches today are become a crowd where there's no building of yourselves if each other or each other but a place where a man gets or a woman gets on a pulpit and tells you what you need to know yes they get up and tell you what you need to know and in earlier days this was not the form for that this was a, a form where uh, the believers of Christ could speak to each other about Christ Sometimes one speaker would get up and speak and speak and speak. Other times, through prophecy, people would take turns speaking. Today, the church of, that's supposed to be of God it seems to be in ruins. And people are saying so many false things, it's hard to know where you stand. 
one minute they're telling you the church is the building of God, but yet they show they don't have much faith in God, or they do practices in the church that's anti-Christ, and when you ask them what's, why it's happening, why they're doing this, they tell you, well, they need to pay bills. They need to make money. And so it's a business. So it moves, the church of today moves and gravitates or shifts from being the house of God to the house of man and then or to the house of devils and then shifts back to being the house of God uh, uh, to suit the occasion. So if there's a big crowd and need money, they tell you it's the house of God. Give to God. And when they're fed up with you and you're telling them, you tell them you're, they're not following God, what they do is they shift and tell you, well, it's a business, it's an organization, and it needs a function to exist. And so they can't really operate as they would in the old days, which means it's their way of saying they can't be bothered to follow Christ because it's not very beneficial at some points of time. Anyway, if you're in a cult, you need to know you need to follow Jesus. And if you're following religion, a denomination, you need to follow Jesus. And most people who follow religions on the earth don't even know the religion they're in. If you talk to many Buddhists, they don't even know the Buddhist religion. If you talk to a lot of Muslims, the Muslims aren't aware of what their religion are. Morning. So people are joining religions, but don't know what the religion believes or stands for, which is really stupid. You understand what I'm saying? You need to know what the religion stands for and believes in to further admonish the practices and call yourself a believer or follower of that religion. But many people are making heads of themselves and not following the leader of the religion. Anyway, I'm out. I'll be seeing you another time.